Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook. Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee with another recipe today. Years ago I had a guitar player that had all of the stars in Nashville come to his house for a Christmas party. And he had a guy who would come in and cater all the hors d'oeuvres and all the food. Well one thing that just flew off the shelf, so to speak, was chicken livers wrapped in bacon. Now before you change the channel, I don't care if you don't like chicken livers, you're going to love this. And I don't care if you've seen the other recipes on the internet, because nobody does this. I cornered the guy that was catering the deal. I said, you've got to tell me what that recipe is. Because when you pop them in the oven, and a lot of people roll them up and fry them in pans and all kinds of stuff, don't do that. I said, I've got to have that recipe. He said, I'll give it to you in one condition. You don't start a catering service. He says, because it's my secret recipe, so to speak. And what we've got here is chicken livers that I bought at the store up at Kroger's, rinsed out all the excess blood and stuff, so it's nothing but chicken livers in this bowl. And let me show you the secret ingredient. Okay, this is our big secret ingredient, a bottle of Italian dressing. I got some wishbone Italian dressing here. We're just going to shake it up real good. And we're going to pour it over the top of these chicken livers. We're going to get quite a bit of that in there. In fact, we'll just go ahead and use all of it. Now, we're going to stir this around a little bit. See if you can get a shot of this here once we get going. Stir it around so it kind of gets in between all the different chicken livers. Beautiful. And now what we're going to do is you really only need to marinate this for oh six to eight hours but if you want to do it the night before and then take it out tomorrow that's the best. I, I actually let mine sit in there 24 hours because that's what he said he did. In 24 hours we're going to take it out of the refrigerator, wrap them up in bacon, take some toothpicks and stick through there and then we're going to bake them in a pan at about 375 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes just till the bacon is crisp. Now if you like softer bacon you can do it less because the livers are already done by then but I like to cook it till the bacon is almost crisp because your guests will just absolutely love it. Alright so let's put these in the refrigerator for about six to eight hours or even overnight and we'll be back to show you the rest of the recipe. I just kind of tear these into the size chunks that I want and you know, even though this has not been marinating overnight, that Italian dressing is just, it reminds me of that flavor. And you just roll them up there the best you can. Take a little toothpick and run it through there. Line them up on your plate. Now this is something that may sound really strange, but... <laughs> Don't use plastic toothpicks because they're going to melt in the oven. You have to use wooden toothpicks. And I know I shouldn't have to tell anybody that, but a friend of mine actually did that. He said, I accidentally used plastic toothpicks, he said, and they melted and ruined the whole batch. So Now I just reach in the bowl and just tear them in, in, uh, kind of in half because the chicken liver seems to be about one liver will do two of these. Now you don't need to sit here and watch me roll these all up. So I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to get them all rolled up and then we'll go on from there. See you in a second. Alright and there you go I got them all wrapped up. Putting that chicken liver in there is kind of like putting two drunk cats in a burlap sack. But Alright we have our oven preheated to 375 degrees. Let's go ahead and pop these babies in here. We'll check them. We're going to do a timer and let you know when they come up kind of crisp. So we'll do a timer on them and find out how long it takes them to get done. All right, are they done yet? No, not yet. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Let's go ahead and put the timer on as of now. All right, let's take a peek. It's been 20 minutes. Wow, boy that smells good coming up out of there with that Italian dressing. Even though I didn't marinate it overnight or even six or eight hours like I should have looks really really good. The only thing I should have done is put that on a rack so all that grease could drip down. I'm going to pour the grease off these and uh, come back and show you what they look like. Alright I poured off the excess grease and they look really good now and uh, I'm going to give them about another five or ten minutes because I like my bacon kind of crisp. 
and I'm not sure that it will get completely crisp here in the oven at 375. Might have to jack it to 400 for a few minutes, but uh, we'll see it in just a few minutes. I kicked these babies up to about 425 for five more minutes. Perfect. You don't want to let it get by five more minutes because it is getting a little dark in the pan, but all this bacon has got some nice little crispy edges now. It probably took close to five minutes to get up to 425, but just like a pizza, you rack it up to about 400 or 425, it's going to get a nice brown crust. Boy, that bacon looks just perfect now. All right, let me take it down to the studio and we'll sample one of these babies. Because I already know what this tastes like, I don't want to smack smack in my microphone. That's why I ate one on the way down here. But I will tell you this. I'll eat this right at the end of the, at the recipe here. I don't like liver. My mom used to cook liver and onions, flour up the liver, fry it up. I ate the onions and kind of poured two pounds of the Heinz 57 steak sauce on the liver just so I could stomach it. I just hated the stuff. But when I had these at that party, marinated in Italian dressing, then wrapped in bacon, because I love bacon, man, forget it. If you don't like chicken livers, you'll still love these. Are they the best little hors d'oeuvres that you'll ever serve at your party? If they ain't, they ought to be. This is Steve Hall saying we hope you subscribe to the channel. There's the button right there to give it a little click. And check out all our other recipes at Cooking with Shotgun Red. We'll see you in a second, and we'll be back with another great recipe. Oh boy, I'm going to have to cut out the audio. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm.